In this video, we're going to cover the basics of creating a color palette inside Figma for your design system. The way I think about color is you typically have your brand color or colors, and then you have more utility type colors like success, warning, and danger. And then you have a grayscale, things like backgrounds, typography. We are creating this palette, and, and how I created this is I started with our base color, so this is our uh, primary. And then what I did is I made a duplicate of it, what we did is we went to HSB, so that stands for hue, saturation, and brightness. And when I create color variations, I'm usually creating them from light to dark on this curve, and the base being the middle. If we wanna go lighter, I typically bump this up here on that curve, and then for our second variation, I pushed it even further. So that gives a good color palette to work with, things like hover effects on a button is one example, or just to have more variations of the color that you can use throughout the app. I try to keep it more minimal, so I created two variations, lighter and two darker for each color. So then it goes into naming conventions. So what I did here is, is I named the base color 300 and denoted it as the base. And then as it got lighter, named it 200, 100. So naming conventions, there are standard practices. This worked for me in the case of us having these five colors. But now I'm gonna show a plugin that really takes us to the next level. So there's a plugin called Foundation Color Generator. And basically what it's gonna do is it helps you create color palettes faster using different design system and their methodology of how they create the variations of color. After you click try it out, you can go to your resources sections, click plugins, and then we're gonna run this color generator. And so let's say we want to standardize it, how material does it. So basically I'm gonna take this fill color of our brand here. I'm going to copy the hex value. So I just copied that and I'm going to enter it and then I'm going to click enter. And now it created these variations based on our base primary color. So if you click create styles, it now created under foundation, it created these styles here. So it even gave it the name, which we can customize here. In this case, I want it to be primary. And as, as you see, it adjusts. And their naming convention is kind of similar to how, how we had them. It starts with 500 and goes up and then down for the lighter. So let's click create and it probably, yes. So now it created this primary. I'm gonna delete blue, so I'm gonna right click it, say delete 20 styles. So now we have primary, that looks good. So now I would repeat this for the other colors that we have and it would provide this palette. So I just click palette and it shows that the colors that were chosen inside of a frame. So that makes it super helpful as far as creating a design system, great standard way of, of building things out that's more mathematical and less of us just kind of eyeballing it. 